If you haven't seen my 666 page on the website, you might want to take a look at it when you get time because it will make it that much easier to understand this video. On that page, I list every title for the office of Pope in Latin and a few other languages that show why the Bible says what it says about the number 666 in Revelation 13, verses 17 and 18. It says that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. And so many think the mark of the beast is 666 because, as also prophesied, Rome has many wolves standing behind pulpits of every denomination now. We're that close to the end. And this is why their ecumenical charge has been so successful the last few decades. But as the Bible clearly says here, the number 666 is not the mark of the beast. 666 is the number of a certain man's name. And no, I'm not going to repeat my video about Antichrist where I show 11 of my favorite prophecies showing it is in fact the popes of Rome that filled 100% of every prophecy that speaks of Antichrist. And so if you need more information on all that, see my 666 page on the website and my Antichrist video as well. And I'll put the links of all this uh, in the uh, comment section below, of course. But anyway, assuming for a moment that you did in fact check out that page about the 666, and you did check out my video about the 11 prophecies uh, out of literally hundreds exposing Antichrist, you know for a fact that 666 is the number for the Pope's Latin names. And because Latin is not only their alphabet, it's their numeric system, or Roman numerals as we call it today. And, and being as such, it makes it childishly easy to spell the Pope's titles in Latin so as to see what each name adds up to in Roman numerals. It's just that easy. But since most people don't read Bibles and they only trust what the wolf behind the church pulpit says, most are unaware that Christian prophecy is that accurate and sometimes that easy to decipher. So that all being said, have you ever noticed that in today's world, it is extremely easy to see this prophecy fulfilled by the elite and every billionaire corporation known to man? Since we are in the very last days, when all this goes down, we see yet another prophesied event come to fruition that helps us to understand this prophesied event. What I mean is, Jesus said in John 14, 29, and now I have told you before it come to pass that when it comes to pass, you might believe. In other words, some prophecies cannot be understood until they come to fulfillment. And when this happens, it causes many to believe. Now, we know Roman Catholics and all those that wander after the Pope already worship or obey him across the board, thanks to yet another prophesied event regarding the One World Church. And we know how all the churches in America also formed an image of that same beast system in Rome that causes all the members of those churches to worship or obey their lying pastors, just as Catholics do their Pope. But today's society wherein all corporations, as well as government agencies, which include the churches now, as of uh, March 7, 2006, they all worship the Pope, of which I will prove in a moment here by showing you their logos. And as, as shocking as that is on its own, we even see some mainstream churches have created logos now that bear a 666 depiction of loyalty inside the logo, and it's, and it's always hidden in a very crafty manner, so as to keep it hidden, if you will, like a secret society kind of a handshake or whatever. And so prophecies fulfilled regarding them as well. They truly have received the mark of his name and they display it with pride to all looking on and especially to their Pope in Rome who demands they publicly display a sign of loyalty to him. But for those that don't believe me, check out a few of literally thousands of such logos wherein we see a clear statement of loyalty to the man of sin in Rome wherein his name equals 666. In other words, if you want to be a billionaire and keep your money and keep your business going, you have to at least show a sign of loyalty to the Pope and help him out financially, of course. But the main thing is the logo that they want it to be out there publicly displayed. Check this out. Okay, right there, that's Google. I have that on my website too as well because I got a page on the website that uh, shows how Google censors me. Well, I also put this little thing on here in regards to how Google's logo literally has sixes in it. And then you got Dreamcast and you got Monster Energy Drink. And uh, those are the, uh, well, somebody goes into detail here about the Monster's uh, Energy Drink here. Uh, I think it's on, well, I'll get to that in a minute because I do, I, I do, I know there's another one on the other link that I'm going to show you. But look at Adobe there, you know, they see how they hide it in there without even, because it's a letter A. They have men that literally make tens of thousands of dollars a month coming up with these logos so that it can help glorify the Pope. And look at Walt Disney or look at uh, Lucius or any of these others, you know. And look at Taco Bell. See how crafty they hide it in there? 
It's oh, there it is. Okay, there's the monster drink one that I wanted to show you. Okay, that's the number six in the Hebrew alphabet. And there it is on the monster drink. See how they and they make it look like a little letter M for monster, and it look like it's scary because his claws are ripping through it. These guys, th this is the reason these guys make so much money. They're able to hide these symbols in here like this. In other words, they have received the mark of his name, so as to continue their business, right? Now check out. Uh, well, this this site here actually just shows businesses only, and it and it goes down. I'll put these links in the. Uh, yeah, I never knew that about Coca Cola, but there it is too with Coca Cola, and uh, and Vodafone, uh, of course Google Monster, and then uh, Nickelodeon and uh, Starbucks. Starbucks is rather vulgar. Uh, when you get a chance, well, here this bottom one here shows you that uh, how vulgar they really are. And they had to change their logo to try to look at the 666 inverted here on the bottom of, uh, I think that's, yeah, Procter & Gamble. That's what that is. Now check out these logos from churches. There's Joe Olstein. This guy here actually breaks it down a little better. Okay. And you got the three sixes right there. Uh, you got, uh, okay, there's all, they mix it in here. But uh, this one here, uh, notice this, they go, what happened to this logo? You know, the three angels, and they switch it to that. And a lot of people miss this because it's so craftily hidden. Check it out. I actually uh, did a write-up about this on sdaapostasy.org. That's my graphic. All right. Now, I don't go into, well, I do go into detail when you look at the actual page on SDA Apostasy where I show how those three waves right there, the wave in hieroglyphics from ancient Egypt actually equals the number six. And so you see 666 here with a wave wrapping around the world. But most SDAs have no clue that they even go so far as to put an upside-down cross there. That's a bold agreement with Rome because we all know how the Pope likes to sit with that upside down cross and declare it's Peter's cross and he tries. Everybody knows what an upside down cross means, okay? And so, oh, and and and, and then here's one last thing here just to show you how crazy it's gotten out there. There's the New King James Version. Now I have this this Bible exposed or I linked out an expose on my bogus Bibles page on the website, and uh, because there's a lot of changes that were made in the New King James, but look at the logo. That is three sixes. And a lot of, it's kind of similar to the one that you saw with Adobe. It's the same symbol. It's an ancient symbol. This is actually a very ancient symbol. That's a pagan symbol that actually does depict the three sixes. But here it's a little bit better detail right there. You see all three sixes right there. Thank you for watching. God bless.